St. Lucia launched its National Energy Policy, NEP, 2023-2030, to designed to achieve the country's vision of the energy sector. It consists of three sections, one, governance framework, two, monitoring and evaluation, and three, risk analysis and management. There is something in there for everyone, from the large corporations to the low-income households. So today, we gather to unveil a bold, cleaner vision for the future, a vision that builds upon our own natural renewable forms of energy towards a more sustainable, resilient, and economically stable St. Lucia. Every one of you, our value stakeholders, have contributed to this process. We are so proud of this accomplishment and remain assured of your continued support as we now embark on the next phase of our journey. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Infrastructure, Lenita Joseph, was grateful to all stakeholders who made the launch a reality. Today is just the beginning. Today, we open the door to opportunities for growth and improving our society. Opportunities to participate and benefit from sustainable energy investments. Opportunities to promote energy access and affordability for our vulnerable groups. Today, we make history in securing a cleaner, more sustainable future for ourselves, and we welcome you into this future with us. The Minister for Infrastructure, Ports and Transport, Stevenson King, said he was honored to be part of the pivotal policy aimed at reshaping the nation's energy sector. Our dependence on imported petroleum products has resulted in fluctuating energy prices, hindering our competitiveness and growth. But amidst these challenges lies an opportunity for transformation. The government of St. Lucia has recognized the imperative need for change and has been steadfast in its commitment to building a more resilient and sustainable environment into the future. In this regard, today I'm proud to announce the launch of the National Energy Policy, NEP, NEP, for St. Lucia for the protracted period 2023 to 2030. This comprehensive policy framework reflects our commitment to strengthening energy security, reducing energy costs, and meeting our obligations under the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Chief Energy and Public Utilities Officer Kurt Inglis presented an overview of the NEP. What is our goal? A transition to a more decarbonized economy characterized by affordable, secure, reliable, resilient and sustainable energy services with high levels of local participation to achieve national prosperity. If you recognize there is a theme building here, a theme of local participation in the energy sector. And this needs to be the driving force behind the energy sector in St. Lucia. Because we need to benefit as St. Lucians, as the general public of St. Lucia, the citizenry of St. Lucia, from this transition to a new energy future. Special guest remarks were also given by Senior Energy and Climate Change Specialist World Bank, Niha Muki. The launch featured a question and answer segment to address inquiries from stakeholders. Officials concur that the NEP's overarching goal is to secure a reliable, affordable, greener and transparent energy sector in St. Lucia.